Thank you, Deatra. Tonight there'll be a citywide discussion in Mobile on something that folks in Ferguson, Missouri, is trying, they're trying to start it right now. We're already getting started. It's about race, and the city's partnering with Mobile United to conduct the forum, and I am joined by Terrence Smith with Mobile United, who is one of the steering committee members. Good to see you here, Good Terrence. Good to see you. You know, this is a discussion that they are struggling to start in Ferguson right now. We have already started scheduling these discussions, and I want to find out, as we have this first one tonight at the Alabama Math and Science Building, why format. How are we going to start doing this? How are you going to talk about it tonight? So we want to start with, uh, start with the results of the survey. So we're asking everyone to take the survey prior to uh, showing up for the uh, community conversation. So there'll be a survey for first that folks can fill out. That will help guide you. Yeah, so that's been going on for weeks now. So you can go online, uh, mobileunited.org or mobileinblackandwhite.com. We can do it right now. Yes, sir. Okay. That's highly recommended. Okay, good deal. And that will also give you an outline of what's going to be discussed. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what do you hope to accomplish with this? Because we've been watching what's been going on in Ferguson, Missouri, and I think there's probably city officials and residents recoiling all over America saying, oh my gosh, how can we keep this from happening? This is almost a preemptive strike for us, isn't it? It really is. So we're, we're embarking on a year-long process. What we're hoping to accomplish, is, we're, we're hoping to accomplish is setting a community, uh, shared community agenda by drawing everyone in to celebrate commonalities, to understand if there are racial inequities in Mobile, if there are, how do we solve those problems? Uh, how does everyone feel about race in Mobile so that when we have issues, that we can address those issues properly. So this will actually create avenues for dialogue, I imagine, as we start talking to each other. Yes, sir. And so the thing is, what we're trying to do is tonight's going to be the kickoff. We're going to have uh, Doctor. Uh, we're going to have uh, Attorney Foster uh, Black, Stephen Black, in mm -hmm. uh, Reverend Doctor Robert Turner. We're going to have those guys come in as, and help us join, help us welcome everybody into the conversation on race. Afterwards, uh, we're planning on embarking on, like I said, this year-long process of having these. Uh, community conversations and different organizations, different groups hosting these uh, conversations to open up dialogue for everyone so we can create these shared experiences so people understand that everyone wants the same thing. We just need to figure out how to get there. I know in Ferguson, Missouri, I've been looking at a lot of the stories about it. There is a big disparity in, in population, which I think is like 69% black, but there's only one black council member. There's only three black police officers on a police force of 50. We're not quite in that situation. No. We have a lot more representation of all races in Mobile at this point in most aspects of government. So we're ahead of the game in that respect. Yes, sir. Now it's just keeping lines of communication open, right? Just, just keeping, the, uh, keeping the lines of communication open and understanding the importance of civic engagement, but having other people understand why do we need this? Why do we need to involve ourselves in civic engagement? Everyone. We can't solve problems if we don't talk about it. Yes, sir. All right, so it is tonight. It's coming up tonight, once again, at the School of Math and Science. What time? Six o'clock. And you just have to show up? Just show up. All right, and what are those websites that you'd like us to go to to fill out the uh, information uh, survey? MobileUnited.org, uh, mobileandblackandwhite.com, and you can also go to the public library to fill them out. Oh, good. So if you don't have a computer, you can do it that way. Yes, sir. Very good. Terrence, thank you so right. much. Good luck with it tonight. We'll be there to cover it, I'm sure. Okay. And thanks for taking the initiative to get us started talking and uh, hopefully understanding each other a little bit better. Right. Thank you for having me. All right.